Hi everybody, this is the Math 20-1 Radicals and Absolute Values Review, question 36E. Um, I have to solve this equation and you know what, uh, as with the previous question, I'm okay with what they've got isolated here already. So we're just going to square that. Okay, that is going to leave me with, on the left hand side, 4x plus 5. On the right hand side, this will become 4 plus 4 root 2x minus 1 plus 2x minus 1. Okay, when you distribute that binomial all out or FOIL it out, okay, that's what you're going to get here. Now, I'm going to bring over the terms here. So I'm going to bring over the 2x. So on the left hand side, I'll have 2x. Uh, 4 minus 1 is 3 on the right hand side. So subtract it. This will be plus 2. Well, I kind of like that. The 2x plus the 2 is equal to 4 root 2x minus 1. Let's just divide both sides here by 2, just to kind of clean that up a little bit. So 4x, sorry, x plus 1 is equal to 2, root 2x minus 1. I just like that a little bit better. Uh, I could divide by this 2 here, but then I'm going to get a fraction. I'm just going to jump right into squaring. So x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 4, 2x minus 1. So x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 8x minus 4. I bring those terms over. So x squared minus 6x plus 5 is equal to 0. And that actually factors quite nicely as x minus 1, x minus 5. So my answers here are possibly, and you can't see any of that, 1 and 5. And now I check those, those two roots. Plug the 1 in, 4 plus uh, 5 is 9, squared 9 is 3. Uh, 2 minus 1 is, is 1, square root of 1 is 1, plus 2 is 3. Okay, so. 1 works. Check 5. 20 plus 5 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. Uh, 2 times 5 is 10. Minus 1 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. They both work. Both roots work just fine.